we've done it again. Found some good stuff. We did. Didn't think we was gonna, when we first come up on this site, thought it was gonna be a bunch of trash. You know, this is a good site for, well, you know, for like a beginner, isn't it? Yeah. They need to see, or they need to understand what we understand right now, looking back. Uh, me more so than you, I was ready to leave. Yeah, you was like, well, uh, let's, let's leave. And I let's was like, go. well, I got one more signal. And then, of course, that was that time back button. And yeah, of course, I, said, I was like, I'm going to stay. <laughs> I said, if it's if it's not a button, we're leaving. And Jeff got down there and he dug. And, and then he looked up and he said, we're staying. <laughs> and then, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You found that time back. Then you found another time back. Then I found a, the little cuff time back. And then you found the War of 1812. Yep, the script I. And then from then on, we started finding. Yep, yep. Still up along this rock wall here, me and Jeff. And I've got half of either a, looks like a belt buckle, but it's broke right here. That could be a shoe buckle or a knee buckle. I'm just not sure. It's all brass. Anyway, it's a good find. I'm glad to find it. Out of that hole right there. I've got a little cuff button here. I thought it was just going to be plain. But it's got some fancy here on the front of it. I'll have to get that cleaned up. I don't know. Not too far from where we found the script eye. War of 1812, probably 15, 20 foot away. I don't think it's a War of 1812, but it's a nice little cuff. I'm just trying to weed my way up in here where Jeff's at. flat button. Yep, where, where the shank went. Well, that's a nice sign, ain't it? Yeah, nice sign. Jeff moved over maybe a foot and he's got the mate to that button that he found come out of that hole right there. I think it's time for you to eat dinner and let me hunt <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Here's another thing that it was cross culture wasn't it? It was, Spot. it was. I mean it was tin roofing was what we run into to start mm -hmm. with. But then when we slowed down, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah it wasn't. I mean as soon as you slowed down and then you, you could pick out the tin and then after you started, you could pick the good targets out between the ten. And, I mean, and that's the point I think that we're, that we're trying to make to a beginner, is that when you go into a place, don't just rush through it because, to me, it seems like it amplifies the trash. Oh it, yeah, it, it seems does. like the it trash does. is more. Jeff's got a great find here. That we uh, we're back up here around this what we think is a cellar hole now, but uh, it's a copper plate almost complete. I've got some more of the edges over there that I broke off trying to get it out. How deep was that? Uh, three inches. The Well we think that we're around the whale and maybe they dug the whale out to keep him back from falling in. It's dug way out and piled up on the sides. I found some pieces of bottle in the hole with it that looked like it may have where they dug it out and then of course you can tell where they dumped it. Yeah. I'm going to go along these piles right here and see what they've dug out of that well. Yeah. Well, Jeff is back over yonder. I can't get to him. He just found this piece here. And it says 4th and 1st National Bank. What do you say that is? Hopefully it goes to a piggy bank. And then got the coins laying here. Fourth and fifth 
National Bank. We thought it was the uh, outside piece to a harmonica reed, but it's not. I've never heard of that bank. No. Good find. <laughs> Now this is an interesting find that Jeff found, this fourth and first national bank tag. I had a suspicion that this bank was out of Nashville, and that was correct. It's a bank uh, that was located in Nashville, Tennessee, late 1800s, early 1900s. I was able to find a couple of postcards, pictures of this bank. One, the late 1800s, you see the horse and buggy out in front of the bank. Another is a postcard from 1928. But even more interesting than that, I found some bank notes from the fourth and first national bank. Just about every large bank in America issued currency before the Great Depression. A person might walk into a bank with a bag of gold and want to exchange it for redeemable currency and the bank might not have enough American money on hand to uh, pay out that and so they would give bank notes back by the individual bank and signed by the cashier. One thing we don't know about this tag is what it's doing at this old house and what it was on. I guess that'll remain a mystery. Out of that hole right there, I've got a real nice flat button here with a uh, you see the decorative design around the outside, and then it's got a little uh, dot, I think, in the middle, and then a little bit of knurling around it. The shank is gone, but you can tell where it used to be. Still up here at this old house, weeding through the jar lids. I want to do a shout out today to my buddy, BTV Digger. You see his channel there on your screen. It's a good guy. He makes some good videos and he makes some good finds. I will leave a link in the description below, so check him out. BTV Digger. Like, subscribe, and share, and be sure and tell him that Seven sent you. We're on our hands and knees in here, <laughs> trying, to, trying to get to some of these flat buttons and stuff. And I just had a find here, and Jeff just come over here to me like a dog, and that's the way he went back. That's like the dog he is. Uh, out of that hole right there, which I haven't dug a hole because it's just right on top, I've got another one of the Chatillon scales. I believe it's a 25-pound uh, produce scale is what they said. I don't know that you can, yeah, you can see the writing right there. Uh, it's a spring scale. That's a good find. I'll go back and look at my research on the last one and, and uh, see if I can get a date on it. We can't tell you right now everything that we found because uh, this is the second episode of, of uh, this site here and there will be at least one more. Oh, I, I guarantee it's worth watching. It, it, it oh, worked. it's going to be the best is to come. That's it. Yeah. Well, I don't know that the best is to come because it's hard to beat that uh, that script I. Yeah, yeah, but that, that well, I don't want to say it. No, you can't say it. Yeah, you, yeah, you I can't, can't say it, but you it, can't let it out. But, I liked it pretty good. So. Yeah, uh, but there's some good stuff there. This is a nice find here out of that hole. It's part of a uh, either a spoon or a fork handle, just the top part of it. I found a spoon piece, part of the bowl that had the uh, shell pattern on it, not far from here. That may be part of the same spoon. That's an oldie. Out of that hole right there, I finally got a suspender clip. I knew that they had to be one here somewhere at this old site. And I don't know that that one is complete. I think it's broke. But it doesn't matter. That's a uh, that's another suspender clip. Still up in this thicket here, up here by the uh, what we think was the well that's been dug out. I have never found a uh, 
watering bit like this one right here. I want you to look at that. Got these little protrusions that come out. They go in different directions. I'm not sure what that would be used for right there. Just laying on top of the ground. Harmonica read. Dang, that's the first one. Leave it up to you. Yeah. We were scouting earlier away from this spot here on up the ridge. Jeff had found a, another house site he thought. We never did find it, but he did find a couple of flat buttons around just around the tree. And uh, we didn't find anything else there. I found two this morning. And uh, so there's my third one. That means I've caught him. I've got a, uh, a shirt button here with a shank on it. Nice green on the front. I don't think it's tomback. I think it's brass. But that's a good button. We're even right now, three and three. I found that other button right there, center screen, just right on this side of that little pile of uh, rock and stuff. And I'm just down the hill, probably, I don't know, five foot maybe. And I've got another button here. Put it out here where I can focus in on it. It's a nice little button there. Almost exactly like the other one. Shank is bent down on it. There. That's okay. I'll take it. Both of these buttons that I found are products of the War of 1812 as well. Tensions rose between America and Britain during the war, and so Americans started making their own buttons, and they put eagles on the back to show their patriotism. This first button has the drooped wing eagle between two branches. The second button has the spread wing eagle with the general service shield in the breast of the eagle. These are both really good finds. Now we got a couple of miles walking to get back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the bad part. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing that you said, though, on episode 116 that I really liked was you said at the very end of it, you remember what you said where I said you just have to get out in the woods and hunt? You remember what you said? I can't. I it does remember. take a lot of lake work. Oh, yes, it, it sure does. And, you know, there's no substitute for that. You are not going to be able to drive to Eversight, and you're not going to be able to just go and uh, and find a place that you see standing and you can tell what it is. That's already been hunted. Oh, it has. It Everybody has. knows it. The easy sites have already been hunted. That, they're, that's they're it. Done. That's it. And uh, get you a map, get on the computer, do some research, and whenever you get to your site, it may look like this, but it's dynamite. Yep, I sure mean, is. There's stuff, there's good stuff there. Yeah. See ya.